Hi friends, today's topic of discussion is from the chapter Polynomial Practice Set 3.6. Here we have been given to factorize the polynomial, okay? And as such, you can see the question. This is the first question or the sub question number one for question number two. They have told to factorize the polynomial. And as such, if you see, it is given x square minus x raised to 2 minus 8 x square minus x, it is in the bracket, plus 12. Here, we cannot solve this as it is because the polynomial which we can factorize is of the power, the maximum power can be 2. But here, if we solve this, we will have maximum power as x raised to 4. So, as such, we are not able to solve as it is. So, what we will do? Here we will do substitution. As such you can see here it is x square minus a, here also x square minus a. So these things can be replaced by another variable for time being. So we can say let x square minus x is equal to a. So we will have a square minus 8a plus 12. And now this particular polynomial we can solve. To solve now as we have discussed earlier in the earlier question that is question number one of 3.6 that we need to take the coefficient of the first term and the constant that is the last term and we need to multiply so if you multiply we will have 1 into 12 that is 12 so now we need to split in such a manner that if we multiply we will get positive 12 and when we add we should have minus 8 so now the various combination are 1 and 12 if we add it will be 13 if we subtract we will have 11 then 2 into 6 2 6 are 12 so if we add we will have 8 if we subtract we will have 4 so if we add we can get 8 so that's good but here if we add we will have 8 and this number is negative 8 we want negative 8 so to do that what we can do we can give negative to both the numbers so that when it get multiplied 2 into 6 that will give you 12 and minus and minus that will give positive number so we will get 12 even since it is negative and negative the negative into negative gives positive number so 2 minus 2 and minus 6 will give 12 and if we add them or get them together it will give minus 2 minus 6 it will give minus 8 so this is the selected one okay so here we can write a square minus 2a minus 6a plus 12 so now with that we can further solve this now we can take a as common so this will be a minus 2 and from here we can take minus 6 as common so we are left with a minus 2 because minus 6 and minus 2 will become plus 12 which can come over here okay so now what we have done we have taken minus 6 as common so now here a minus 2 a minus 2 so we can take that as common so a minus 2 as common so we are left with a minus 6 but now the problem is not solved because a was our assumption instead of x square minus x we have put a so now what we will do we will resubstitute so put a is equal to x square minus x so our problem will now change and it will become x square minus x minus 2 and x square minus x minus 6. Now we have as such two polynomials in brackets which we need to solve. So the first one is 1 into minus 2. So 1 into minus 2 that will give me minus 2 and when I split this so it will be 1 into 2 if I multiply, I should get minus 2. If I add, I should have minus 1. So, I will give negative to the bigger number and positive to the smaller number. So, this can be written as x square plus x minus 2, okay, x minus 2, okay. So, now the first bracket is done, okay. Now, the second bracket. Here we have 1 and minus 6. So 1 and minus 6 gives me minus 6. So now I have to split in such a manner that if I multiply I should get minus 6 and if I add I should have minus 1. So it is 1 into 6. If I add 
I will have 7. If I multiply, if I add, I will have 7. If I subtract, I will have 5. So, but I want minus 1. So next thing is 2 into 3. If I add, I will have 5. If I subtract, I will have 1. So this is somewhat okay. So but we want minus 1. So I will give minus to the bigger number and plus to the smaller number. So if I multiply now, I will have minus 6. If I add now or bring them together, I will have minus 1. So I can write this as x square plus 2x minus 3x okay as we have split this and minus 6 okay so now we can take x common from these two so we are left with x plus 1 now I can take minus 2 common from these so minus 2 so x plus 1 then this will be one bracket then I can take x from this as common so I will be left with x plus 2 okay and then I can take minus 3 common so I will be left with x plus 2 the second bracket so now in this complete thing the first bracket we can take x plus 1 as common so I'll be left with x minus 2 and then from here x plus 2 I can take as common so it will be x plus 2 okay as common so we are left with x minus 3 so now this we can write it as x plus 1 x minus 2 x plus 2 and x minus 3 so our problem is completely which was given x square minus x the whole square minus 8 x square minus x plus 12 is factorized now so we have all the factors x plus 1 x minus 2 x plus 2 x minus 3 so this was a sum question number 2 and sub question number 1 from practice set 3.6 chapter polynomial so other problems are not solved if you have any difficulty with other problems please send request we'll make the video for the same hope you like the video we'll again meet in the next video very soon till then goodbye